Hey everyone, I'm Drew from NWA3D and we're going to go over a tutorial on how to level the bill plate on the NWA3D A5. So it can be kind of tricky because you have to try to get it close enough to the bill plate with the nozzle to where the filament's coming out and sticking, but not so close that it's digging into it, not so far away that it turns into a giant pile of spaghetti. So kind of imagine it like toothpaste on a toothbrush. You, you don't want to have it too close or not very much is going to come out. Too far away, it's going to go all over the bathroom sink. Same thing with the 3D printer. You want to make sure that that layer is good and stuck to the bill plate. So you want to have that, just like you would have your toothpaste from your toothbrush, the filament is going to come out with the nozzle right above that bill plate. It's going to come out at a 90 degree angle. That's what we're kind of shooting for. And what we need to do is we have to have it the distance of about two tenths of a millimeter. And that is actually a folded sheet of copy paper. So that's all we're going to need today is your printer and a folded sheet of copy paper. And that's what we're going to use because we're going to move the tension with this and then adjust the little knobs underneath it until we feel the paper dragging, feel the vibrations of the dragging of the paper. Not so close that the paper buckles, and not so far away that you barely feel anything. And that's that like weird middle ground. And it's gonna take practice. It's definitely the most complicated step of 3D printing is getting that leveling just right. But once you get it level, you won't have to do it very much at all. It's only when it gets moved around a bunch or if you print it for, for weeks and weeks that you'll have to go back and level it again. But if something does happen where it's gonna be warping up on the sides, that means it's too far away. Or if something happens where it digs in and no filament's coming out or it's digging into the bill plate or into your tape, then that means that the nozzle's too close. So that's what we're trying to find, that happy medium, so the filament comes out so it can stick layer by layer by layer by layer. So go ahead and plug your 3D printer in. And then once you have it plugged in, we are going to use the control screen to choose, by pressing the button, we're gonna go to setup. And then from setup, we're gonna go to auto home. And that's gonna move our nozzle all the way to the zero position right down here on the bill plate. And we're only gonna adjust the X, which is moving this assembly back and forth, and the Y, which is the plate by moving that back and forth. We don't wanna move the, the Z up and down at all because that's what we're gonna adjust by moving these little bolts underneath the 3D printer. So we're gonna have it just go down, and when it gets all the way down to the bottom and stops moving, we're gonna disable the motors. And if we disable the motors, then we're gonna be able to move these all around. So to do that, as soon as it stops moving, we're gonna tap this button. And then we're gonna click on where it says setup. And it pops up when it stops moving. And then we'll click disable motors right there. And then when we tap it, now we can move this back and forth. So we're gonna move this by pulling this out and then we're gonna move this nozzle over so it pulls over to this front corner right here. That's where we're trying to line it up. And if we have it lined up in this front corner here, I'm gonna be picking my printer up so you can see it, but you don't wanna pick yours up. You wanna leave yours flat and adjust it by just looking down at the little bolt. But I'm gonna pick mine up so you can see what I'm talking about because this is what we're gonna adjust. And we need to adjust this by really tiny increments using our piece of paper. So we're gonna slide our paper inside of here. And if it doesn't fit, you can actually squeeze this bill plate right here. So I can squeeze this and then slide my paper underneath there. So if I slide my paper underneath, then I'll be able to adjust it. And then now when I drag it, I'll be able to, to uh, see if it's level or not. And this one, it's barely moving. So that means it's too close. So I'm gonna need to actually tighten this on the bottom by turning it counterclockwise. And that loosens it on top, which is kind of counterintuitive. Because if you loosen this on the bottom, it's gonna push it up. And when it pushes up, it's gonna get closer. So it's basically adjusting this spring right here. So when you tighten, it's pulling it farther down like that. So I'm gonna turn it like a fourth of a turn counterclockwise. And then now let's test it and see. There we go, now I feel it dragging, and it's got a good amount of drag and a good amount of tension. So once I have that one right there where I feel it dragging on the paper, but not so much that it's buckling, and not so much that you barely feel it, now we're ready to adjust the next one. And that means you're gonna push the bill plate over here and adjust it above this one right here. So now I'm gonna try this, and we wanna get the same amount of tension from this one that we got on this one right here. So when I try to drag it, it's kinda of stuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and go just maybe a fourth of a turn, and then try it, there we go. It's still a little bit too tight, so just a tiny, maybe an eighth of more of a turn. There we go. Now it feels just like this one does over here, that this one is level there. And then the last one is the one that's the hardest to get to, and it's inside here. So we're gonna move this to the middle, and then push this all the way over here with our paper, so then this is the one that we're gonna adjust. And see, this one is so close that it's not even moving, because it's a triangle. So the triangle is what's gonna flatten the plane out, so when one of them gets really tight, the other two are gonna be loose, and when another one gets really loose, the other two are gonna be tight. So it's gonna be moving them around like this, and this one in here is tight. So we're gonna pull this out, and then you can adjust it by moving your fingers back in here. So I'm gonna turn this one about a fourth of a turn. There we go, and then try it. 
All right, it's closer, but it still needs to be a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and adjust it a little tiny more. That's still a little bit close, maybe just a tiny bit. There we go, I think that's good. So now that we think if that one's good, we can go ahead and move it to these other ones and test those out and see how theirs are going. So when we move it around here, we wanna feel about the same amount of tension all the way around, that's what we're shooting for. And then once we think it's good, go ahead and take this out. And then we can go ahead and start our print. So we'll load our filament in. And then once we have our filament loaded in, we'll just, uh, we'll start a print. And then we can actually watch those first couple layers of our print. And if you watch those first couple layers to see if they're working, that's when we're gonna be able to find out if our printer is really level or not. It's really important to watch those first couple layers. So if it's sticking, those first couple layers will stick really well and you'll see them to be able to stick. And then you've got a really high percentage that it's gonna be able to finish. But if it's too far up, and far, uh, far up, excuse me, and it's gonna be trying to print around and nothing's gonna stick and it's just gonna turn into a big pile of spaghetti. And if it's too close, it's gonna be digging in and nothing's gonna come out at all. So you wanna watch those first couple layers. And sometimes it takes a little bit, like it might need to print the skirt first before pressure builds up in the nozzle. So you might not exactly know until it's level, until it starts printing a little bit. But once it is printing, you can actually adjust it a tiny bit by moving these knobs, just really tiny increments while it's printing. And that's called hot leveling. And by adjusting those by tiny increments, being really careful not to get pinched, not to get caught in anything, then it can adjust exactly where you want it, and then go ahead and unplug it, and then scrape off everything from the bill plate, and then hit print again, and it'll be level exactly where you want it. Because you're looking for that 90 degree angle of filament coming out. You're looking for the filament to come out in a nice smooth line. If this was my nozzle, the filament would be coming out in a nice line from it. So I uh, hope this helped with uh, getting your 3D printer level because it can be really tricky with those different three knobs. So if you have any trouble with it, go ahead and contact us at us uh, at our service team at, at uh, endeavor3d.com support and we'll help you out. And uh, good luck with 3D printing and have fun.